a big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there welcome back to my channel and this is the part two the continuation of the channeling where i spoke about how you are healing your childhood wounds and you are dealing a very dealing with a very important wound and this type of wound is the very reason why you have so much unhappiness in your life you have so much you know on and off because i have noticed personally also uh, with so many people there are certain days and times when they are okay but there are other days and times when they are not okay and on those days these feelings of unworthiness or not feeling loved these feelings get triggered by some situation maybe or something happens and the people that i'm channeling they just feel like you know they are not loved they are not loved why because they feel that they were not loved by their parents and this feeling they created or it happened in their life when they were kids and then it has become a part of their programming because many other events or situations or experiences happened all those events that happened in puberty in teenage while growing up because of these multiple events uh, which were of similar nature or which happened because of narcissistic abuse because of what you felt as a child because of the wound you still feel that you're not loved because the reason is for a child for any child the most important person or most important two people are their father and mother and i'll tell you the reason is because in the core of your heart in the core of your energy body lies two type of energies called the anima and the animus this particular term is literally the same as divine masculine and divine feminine shiv and shakti so various cultures indigenous cultures and various studies various scientists have actually come up with this uh, theory and this particular term that i'm talking about was coined by a swiss psychiatrist carl jung to describe the unconscious masculine and feminine aspect within an individual psyche and it doesn't matter what their biological sex is it doesn't matter what their gender is or it doesn't even matter what their sexual preference is but these two energies are present within a person and when they look up to their parents or when they look at their parents while growing up they look at these two people as a representative of this energy also because the the creation itself of a child happens because of the combination of these two energies i know a lot of people would like to say that no the mother is most important the feminine is most important feminine is definitely most important because feminine is shakti is the energy center it is what runs the whole show but shiv shiv is the happiness quotient shiv itself means happiness so both need each other to grow so anima is the feminine quality and the archetype which is present in the psyche of an individual who identifies as a male and then it encompasses the traits such as emotional emotionality sensitivity nurturing creativity and it is also the bridge between the conscious and the unconscious realms and it plays a very very crucial role in a man's psychological and emotional development and animus is the masculine quality and archetype archetype present in the psyche of an individual who identifies as female it's very simple actually don't get confused by the names and don't get confused by the gender associated with it but animus basically means assertiveness logic ambition and independence and some of these qualities which are considered to be masculine in nature animus represents the masculine influence on a woman's psyche and then all of this that i'm talking about it contributes to their psychological and emotional growth so as i said that we speak about divine masculine and feminine in this particular community this is the commonly heard uh, you know term or uh, commonly heard energy types but it means the same thing it defines the quality some people who are in other communities there are also spiritual uh, communities but you see every community has their own terms so they use the word sacred masculine and sacred feminine it's just a difference of words but you know energetically it means the same thing 
so these energies influence our behavior thoughts and relationships internally as well as externally and if your understanding of the masculine and feminine is distorted or it is swapped or it is warped if your stereotypes based on the gender roles are also confusing or for example any of these two people uh, the parent figures or someone who also shows you the you can say this uh, association like grandparents or stepmother or uh, maybe some partners of your parents some other partners just in case they had or other influences in their lives because first they see their mother and father as male and female then they probably also meet, meet grandparents you know they will also have a different personality then they would also meet uncle and aunties and the ones who have maximum uh, you can say control over them in case of abuse and grooming this becomes completely you can say influenced uh, by negative energy because the groomer may be having a special place in their life at first i mean for a certain number of years where the child has no knowledge about good and bad they might be seeing the groomer who's usually very nice very lively very jovial to be a very very important person they they like the groomer they love the groomer the groomer also behaves like you know they are in love with the child and then one fine day when they see the opportunity or when they cannot control their urges they will abuse the child and that will literally shatter and break the trust of the child towards any other adult as well and now we also need to see what gender this groomer has okay and what is the influence of the groomer on their parents on their mother or on their father like how could the groomer enter or invade into someone's home or uh, and you know just abuse their child without any fear of getting caught without any fear of thinking about what the repercussions would be are the parents too innocent are the parents too naive that they can be fooled by anyone acting to be nice so these are the things and then there are other things like poverty consciousness so poverty consciousness is like confusion about what makes you happy is it the materialistic objects that make people happy or is it the the general joy the vivre attitude people have and i personally feel that people who suffer because of poverty consciousness it keeps biting them in their ass from time to time like say these people have worked on their wounds they've healed themselves they have become very independent which means they have healed their animus okay masculine energy is healed they have started working they've started you know solving everything maybe for 15 years of their lives when they were pleasing the whole world they were involved into the karmic jobs jobs that they hated or maybe jobs that they did not know uh, how to handle other people over there and they did not know what to do sometimes we are in certain jobs only because we have to do our inner work and uh, it is okay to be there as long as you use those people and places as stimuli and you use the whole happening as a discipline or as a routine for your body and for your life you know and for some people they are literally not meant to do those things they are literally not born to work like in human design also they say that the projectors are not meant to do any work they are not supposed to earn money via jobs they can just enjoy their life and they would learn to make money somehow uh, they talk about generators should work they talk about uh, the manifesting generators should work but why do they have a specific population of people who should not work because by work a lot of people mean you devoting something your time into something that you may or may not like you may or may not like it but you have to do it okay while certain energy types are simply there to you know just show people guide people and if you have to guide people you have to show the path to other people or you have to just share your life with other people then uh, then probably you cannot work the way other people are working but we live in the world of social media and we live in the world of technology i think there would be a time when being an influencer or being um, you know doing something on social media that itself would become a 9 to 5 job look at the way 
you know there are so many youtubers there are so many instagrammers there are so many people who are just vlogging you know so maybe right now it looks like a lucrative business for a lot of people or they just want to do it because it brings fame name or recognition of some sort uh, and they feel that it could be a stable income stream but that's not true it requires a lot of hard work it requires more hard work than anything else and after a point it gets slightly boring and monotonous because it's it's the same thing you know and now everybody is doing it there could be a time when people would be doing jobs that everyone would initially think wow it's such a cool job to do you know i would be just sitting at home in front of my computer and you know watching content or reading this or reading that or doing this or doing that and that's the job you know that's the job that's so cool but i'm telling you because uh, distraction is one of the biggest tools of maya and uh, we all must we all must heal ourselves because when we heal we also heal the planet children are supposed to go out and play in the soil in the sun in the water breathe fresh air and not only children even adults need to do so so people whose whose masculine and feminine is not healed they also stay indoors and which we call it dark night of the soul phase where they're staying inside they're not going out they're not doing much they are not connecting with earth energy not connecting with air they are not connecting with water because they stopped playing long time back maybe till they were 7 or 8 they were playing due to whatever they went through in their childhood they stopped enjoying playing they were put to work or they were put to some kind of a routine or uh, where they were just distracting themselves so this distraction also becomes a part of their adulthood so it is okay to do a 9 to 5 job but you should also have some activity along with it some activity should also be a part of your life where you are going out and spending time in nature not talking on the phone with other people not just uh, you know just going at odd hours like it's too hot and you're sitting there or it's too cold and you're sitting there i mean according to whatever is the best for your health you know taking baths regularly taking cold showers taking nice warm baths and just taking care of yourself going to the swimming pool or spending time in water and uh, planting something playing with the soil so all of these things are going to come back to you as you begin to heal if you are already experiencing this then do share your comment about the same subject and if you are contemplating on this also like if you feel attracted towards this life hanging out with the animals growing your own food playing in the soil going out you know spending time in nature these things are going to heal you so your attraction towards nature your attraction towards towards being a child your attraction towards playing every day uh is also a very big sign that your wounds are healing because your wounds use these medicines these things as medicine and love also is obviously the most important the only medicine that can heal all the sickness of this planet and all of the children and all of the adults so how do they connect to this love they connect with this love by locating it inside themselves by locating it within themselves they realize that what they are searching for outside is actually within them and when they start creating or connecting or contacting with that love element within themselves like you have so many fears right so many people have so many fears we all have so many fears but instead of looking for a solution in other people you start looking for the solution within and one of the best easiest fastest solution is to listen to the sound and chant the sound of solar plexus this is the navel chakra as we call it this is the chakra which is the most important chakra this chakra actually helps to heal the anima and animus in the most magical ways okay because this is the chakra that once healed it can unblock all of the above and below chakras and a sushumna a nadi is connected in between with all the chakras that nadi gets opened up 
and immediately your masculine your divine masculine and divine feminine they start getting the energy and then from these two main energy centers the masculine and feminine 72000 nadis get energy in your energy body and that's the reason why you feel like sleeping on time some of the people who are doing inner work or some of the people who are uh you know taking care of themselves not only do they connect with nature but they also have a very interesting sleep cycle they wake up very early and they sleep very early and they do it without the help of any alarm clocks so when they wake up in the morning they have really good energy fresh energy uh, they are very you know excited they are very gung ho and they always remember source they always remember they are always chanting the sound of solar plexus throughout the day all the time and then that automatically starts detaching them with the fear because fear is stored in your chakras when people have wounds then your chakras are blocked then fear guilt and shame these are the three main emotions that actually ruin people's life and they take people to the hell dimension so hell and heaven is not really a specific place you know where you have to go you have to reach hell and heaven these two dimensions they are created wherever you are because i told you in in some of the channelings i have been telling you guys sharing this with you guys that your emotions itself are portals some people think that you know there has to be a portal and in a lot of horror movies i've seen in fact there's a specific show uh on youtube where i've seen them talk about the portal like there's a portal in the house and some of the some of my students who were also into spiritual uh spiritual release therapy which means spirit release therapy which means they release the the stuck spirits or souls or ghosts or negative energy whatever you want to call it uh in people's houses by looking for the open portals so where are the open portals who creates the open portals these open portals are created by the person only and why spirit uh, release therapist also have to come for therapy is because many a times due to their sensitive nature or over empathetic nature or their sympathetic nature they are so caring and so protective towards other people that sometimes they start closing these portals on their own without asking anyone without uh, without someone walking up to them and telling them that, hey i need your help so that should not be done so there are lots of nitty gritties in energy healing see because my job involves a lot of plethora of things like exorcism clearing uh, angry spirits or clearing spirits that are attached to my clients and they don't even look like spirits like not all people are going to you know literally behave like they have a demonic possession because demonic energy or demons are also very smart it's a negative energy it also comes from manipulation and narcissism there are many many areas of demonic possessions and it's not always like a horror movie and in fact a lot of horror movies also have many implants so when people watch horror movies especially if they are not healed when they are wounded especially when they don't have basic understanding of how does a possession happen and how does it get released most horror movies i mean at least till uh 2021 whatever they were making their intention was not really to give you know information or provide information to the watchers their intention was to create fear and just get the views and just get people's attention it's one movie which i really liked was constantine and recently i saw a movie called the pope's uh, exorcist but then there is too much nudity in that movie and a little bit exaggeration is always there however the ending of both these two movies is very good the plot line is very good and uh, you can watch some other good stuff also if in case you get into therapy with me and you are also in the same field you resonate with similar things then you can ask me during the therapy also so basically not all demons are going to be like okay i'm going to act like a demon and act like a possessed person no a lot of them actually are very smart they suck out the life force energy or the happiness or the vitality of the same person that they are attached to 
and that person may be looking for reasons outside because they speak they tend to speak into the ears of those person those people they keep giving negative messages they keep telling that person hey you're worthless uh, say for example they're in an argument with the family and they will speak into their ears like you're worthless they don't like you they don't love you you're a loser they don't respect you or something like that you know some of those messages they will say a friend of mine who's a christian was also telling me something similar that she was say, saying that in in you know where, wherever she goes they speak uh, hindi they read the hindi bible so in hindi devil is called shaitan so she was saying that the shaitan usually stands and enjoys when people are in stress and people are fighting the devil is always present whenever there is a negative situation so devil loves to create problems within families devil loves to create problems within lovers they thrive on argument fights irritation pain tears especially the feeling of unworthiness because unworthiness is a portal from which a lot of other negative emotions crop up sometimes people have so much negative energy or you can say uh they are able to create portals that they even start manifesting activities like things are falling from one place to another you know sounds are there voices are there i'm not saying that uh, everything is totally unreal but you know human energy is also very powerful if you focus it on something it will create some kind of manifestation in the physical and for the twin flames also it is very very important to understand that whatever havoc you see in your relationships in your love life that is also a manifestation of your focus on the feeling that you are unworthy and you are not loved by your mommy and daddy if your own mother and father your own biological parents didn't love you how is anybody else going to love you that is one of the message that is being told to you in your ears by this negativity negative energy that your own parents don't love you how do you expect other people to love you which is absolutely false in my opinion because when we heal the wounds of narcissism and narcissism is literally the most most difficult to heal and whosoever joins therapy they have obviously seen big shifts the biggest shift in anybody's energy is peace of mind because if you don't have peace of mind like i have people who have been 40 years old 35 years old 30 years old and for 30 40 50 60 years they never had peace of mind after therapy for the first time in their life they started experiencing what it is to be peaceful it is the most priceless thing on this planet money cannot buy it you know any commodity cannot give it to you any relationship cannot give it to you when you have peace of mind you will have gratitude but people they just don't heal that fast you know they will have peace of mind for 20 days and again there's a danger because of the old patterns they will not feel the gratitude or they will feel i am not enough things are not fine everything is a problem and if there is a problem there is a problem that they have to deal with then they will not be prepared for it and they will also you know constantly feel like oh how do i deal with this situation how do i heal this pattern so sometimes it happens that even in therapy sessions i have to give gaps like 20 days 15 days sometimes even 25 days between one session to another because they are feeling very happy and for 10 days they will be happy for a week they will be happy but after some time has passed by the narcissistic abuse pattern will crop up again see that's how rapid it is it can attack a person within 10 days within 15 days but to be peaceful for 10 15 days also is a very big thing sometimes people who work uh, with me during these therapies initially they start taking for granted also that now i'm happy now i don't need to do any work and then lo and behold after a month that horrible emptiness is back so that's why i say it is the most difficult problem to deal with especially if there are elements of covert narcissism especially if one of the parent had grandiosity i mean if one of the parents thought that they are just prince or princess and they need to be served the child would have spent their whole childhood teenage growing up years just to look after that one particular parent 
like constantly doing things constantly doing stuff but the parent is never happy usually not happy only you know the happiness is more like hey you did a good job bread crumbing you know and that becomes like a pattern and the worst problem is that this bread crumbing turns into bread crumbing in relationships also people are attracting all of these other people who who just don't respect their time their existence in their life or the efforts so only when they get some materialistic things because narcissism is based on materialism narcissism equals to ego ego equals to materialistic stuff okay only materialistic stuff not the soul not the spirit so some of the people are very religious some of the people look very spiritual because spirituality can also create an ego in a person like oh i'm such a spiritual person wow they may be doing it because it's a trend they may be doing it because going to the temple is a trend going to the uh, you know church every sunday is a trend so they're going to do it because that makes them fit into the society i have seen people abusing children who who've been taking some kind of uh, supervisor role in one of these religious places why do they do that why children why only children because when the demonic possession is like really horrible then these people always target children because children are the most innocent precious beings of this planet okay so i guess this is where i'm going to close this channeling session for personal sessions for therapies for all this wonderful work that i do you can check out the description box for hand holding and counseling even for you know knowing where you are at in your twin flame journey what stage you are in and what situation are you in what is going to heal you if you feel like there is a certain dream that keeps coming to you again and again like it's been 10 years now ever since you started doing inner work a certain person keeps showing up in your dreams and with time the relationship between you and that person in the dream world has changed a lot you know so there are a lot of these things that people look for answers and they actually brush it away by saying that it's just a dream or it's just my imagination or i don't know if it's real or not certain things like that happen and they don't work on it actually if you remember your dreams then they are also messages the dreams that you don't remember those are just uh, you know random dreams but dreams that you remember even after waking up those are messages and they need to be uncoded and they need to be worked upon worked upon so yeah check out the description box and write to me at the sunamoon at gmail dot com and kindly do not share everything in advance with me because I use spiritual tools modalities and intuitive reading to give you the answers and solutions I will see you soon in another one one love peace out and Jai Shri Ram.